Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a postback URL with max bounty using click magic. Now, I will show you how to do this with tracking links. If you're using campaigns, make sure to check out my previous video on how to set up postback URLs with campaigns and max bounty. Um, the process is a little bit different, which is why I'm making two separate videos. That being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we have our max bounty offer. We already created a tracking link. Okay, we have it all here. Um, so how do we set up a post back URL? So this is a two step process. The first thing we have to do is add the post back URL, an actual URL that ClickMagic will provide us into max bounty. So let's go into tools. Let's go into post back URLs and click on post back URL list. And let's go down until we find max bounty. Now the process, by the way, is pretty much the same for all of these networks, okay? So if you learn how to do it with Max Bounty, follow the same process with every other network, all right? So Max Bounty, here's the URL. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna click Control C or just click on this little copy icon there. And let's go back into Max Bounty. Now this is the offer supposedly we're promoting. We have two options here. We can either post the post back URL here at the bottom. So we would select URL and paste it here and click save, okay? So what this will do is this will allow us to track sales for this product only, which means if you now create a link for a different product, you will not be able to track sales. Only if you promote this link will you be able to track the sales. Now you probably don't want that. To make things easier for you, we can add this post back URL into our overall post back settings, right? So instead we can uh, we can keep it at that, but let's go back into profile. Let's click on edit profile, scroll down to the bottom and right over here where it says default post back type, we're going to select URL and we're going to paste our post back URL here. Okay. Let's click save settings. And now if we go back to our product, let's go back, let's type in diabetes and it was this one, I believe. If we scroll down, um, we should select this option, use default post back set in profile. Okay, so make sure you select that. So you deselect the custom one uh, and you just select this one to avoid any potential duplication. Um, but just to keep things clean, you would use that one and click save. Okay, so now it's gonna use this default post back from your profile settings in here. Okay, so that's step one, we've done that. So when we make a sale, Max Bounty is going to realize, hey, this sale came from Click Magic. But now it's not going to know which tracking link to attribute the sale to. So that's what we have to do in step two. So let's go back here. Let's scroll back to the top and go to our links. Let's click on our Max Bounty link here. Uh, it says ClickBank. Don't worry, we'll cover that in the next video. But let's click on Max Bounty. And over here, right? So this is our affiliate link. So the process is a little different from what Click Magic had it before. We're just gonna click this little wrench icon, click Add Affiliate Click ID Parameter, find Max Bounty, and just make sure that this uh, token is added here to the end. See how it says um, ampersand S2 equals Click ID, and that's it. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. For those of you that are more advanced, more experienced, that have stuck with me for the past four years, you probably memorized some of these, so you don't have to click here. You can just literally type in ampersand S2 equals click ID. I would probably do that because I, I know this by heart, um, but you can also just click the wrench icon and do it there, okay? Once you do that, click save, and that's it. We have set up sales tracking with Max Bounty. So when we make a sale, Max Bounty is going to go back to this link and show us a sale right here. Okay, let's test this though and let's make sure it's working. So we're going to click this link. Do not use this link. So do not copy this link and paste it on your button. That is for campaigns. Okay, so that's completely different. Watch that video, learn how to do it for campaigns. It's a bit different. Over here, we're going to um, take this link right here. Okay, so take this link. We can just we can either copy it or preview the link. And I'm using an extension called uh, Redirect Path. So make sure you download this extension called Redirect Path. It's uh, it's gonna help you test when you're setting up post spec URLs, okay? Uh, but we're gonna, so this is the link that we clicked on and it re redirected us to our affiliate link. So let's see if this 
token here. Let's see if this as uh, click ID at the end generated a number. That's what we're looking for, okay? So let's go back here. Again, let's click on this extension. And here we see a number. Now this number is going to differ every single time for every single different user. Okay, that's how Max Bounty and Click Magic talk to each other, and that's how they attribute the sale to the correct link and for the correct person. Because you will have 20 people, 100 people, 1,000 people clicking your links every day or every week, whatever. You want to make sure you attribute the sale to the correct IP address, and that's how it does it with this um, ID, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. That is how you set up a postback URL with Max Bounty and ClickBank for tracking links. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you are looking for any specific network. Um, I will try to see if I can do something like that and uh, set it up for you. But other than, than that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next ClickBank video.